Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video lesson, we are going to learn how we can count vowels in a string. So without any further ado, let's get started. Double click on Turbo C icon on the desktop to start Turbo C ID. Select new from the file menu to create new source file. Let's start coding. I should include stdio.h hash include conio.h void main open brace closing brace char str equal to in double quotation winners never quits semicolon in i equal to 0 comma vowels equal to 0 clrsr printf backslash n first of all we are going to print given string so given string is equal to percent yes comma str bracket complete semicolon while str of i not equal to backslash 0 ok opening brace closing brace now conditions if str subscript i equal to lowercase letter a or I am going to copy this ok a e or i or o and u so this is the condition to check whether a character is a vowel or not ok but character can be in upper case or lower case so I am going to repeat all this condition once so copying here ok now upper case checking a E I O and U okay if condition is true if the character is lowercase letter A or uppercase letter A if it is E either uppercase or lowercase if it is i either uppercase or lowercase if it is o either uppercase or lowercase or if it is u either uppercase or lowercase then we will increment the value of vowels by 1 ok i plus plus semicolon so our loop is complete now we are going to print number of vowels so printf backslash n number of vowels in a string equal to percent d comma vowels bracket complete semicolon and get ch pressing F2 to save the program I am going to save it wow.c ok compile it to make sure that there are no syntax error in the program so alt F9 the program is absolutely fine Control F9 and you can see the output on the screen the program is displaying number of vowels in a string equal to 6 
so you can count them first vowel is i second is e third is e fourth is e fifth is u and sixth is i so number of vowels in a string equal to six instead of writing so many conditions we can modify the program like this okay if str subscript i equal to a i am using one standard library function to upper it is defined in c type dot h control f1 you can see it is defined in c type dot h it translate characters to uppercase okay so to upper yes there subscript i equal to e to upper yes there subscript i equal to i or to upper yes there subscript i equal to o or to upper yes there subscript i equal to u now i am going to include that file c type dot h okay saving the program again and run it control f9 and you can see the output on the screen the same program using switch statement can be written as i am going to remove these conditions okay switch str subscript i opening brace closing brace okay here case lower case letter a or case upper case letter a same conditions for e i o and u okay so lower case letter e upper case lower case letter i or upper case letter i lower case letter o or upper case letter o and at last u or upper case letter u so here we are using multiple case labels and break semicolon okay now going to compile the program it's okay running it to view the output control f9 and you can see output on the screen so that's all for this video lesson don't forget to subscribe my channel to watch the upcoming interesting video lessons if you have any queries regarding this video lesson please let me know in the comment section below thanks for watching